up guys and welcome back to another one and today 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 I have to tell you guys before we get into this video today is Cyber Monday and we're doing 20% off the entire duck site yeah everything barrel stickers gun slings lanyards hoodies shirts everything and especially the one that you guys have been waiting for the ducks thermal waiter pants they're thermal they're thick and they're warm 20% off at duckswaterfowl.com. I will link everything down in the description below. Go pick up these waiter sweats before they're not on sale anymore. Save you some money. But you guys will love this video. It's a very relatable, short video, but it's extra funny. We did it on Thanksgiving morning. It's a tradition for us to have these family best friend hunts, me, Wade, and Nick, like always, Thanksgiving mornings. And it was with Wade's new dog, Storm. She's absolutely the most obedient little girl that I've ever seen. Awesome dog. Enjoy the video, guys. Today is Thanksgiving. Happy belated Thanksgiving to y'all. I'm sure this video won't go up on Thanksgiving today. There's no way I'm going to be able to edit that bad boy. Well, I got some new intel on the plans. Plans changed. For one, I forgot the mojo on the charger. That's great. For two, Wade's boy Easton, he's not going. He didn't feel good this morning. For three, Brad, he didn't feel good. He's not going. So there's only three of us. It's me, Wade, and Nick. Uh, we have too many decoys for the three of us to throw. <laughs> and uh, I'm the only one with waders. You know how that goes. Oh, I didn't bring my waders. Oh, I forgot my waders. Uh, <laughs> it never ever fails look how bright the moon is looks like the sun's up oh well we're all sat up i am the only one with waders on <laughs> but that's all right i like getting out in the water sitting the spread had to come out and turn the old mojo on basically i am sitting in the kill hole here i'll show you the spread got uh some goose floaters over yonder got the jerk rig set up right here and uh we're in the old a-frame up here we got it brushed up pretty high so got the a-frame out in the open we'll see uh see how it goes here what are you doing over there jolly <laughs> he's jerking on the old jerk rig eh i don't know but this heater already is feeling good Oh, look, they're landing. There we go, there we go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check him. Nice. Two pintails. Storm. Two pintails. Heck yeah, that's a heck of a good first two birds down. There it is. Whole storm. She's getting down. Three pack of four pack. Four pack of honkers. Try to nail them. Well, it is now 8.20 a.m. and we've shot the two pintails. We've had, I don't know, two or three small groups of ducks come over. And uh, on these bright sunny days like this, they just want to flap them wings and fly. So, got pretty slow. Bird, some some little groups were flying here, but the first uh, two birds that came in we probably should have shot at. There was a group of seven behind them that were uh, really locked up. That's why we didn't shoot the two that landed right here in the spread. Two pintails, though. I mean, if you were to shoot two birds, two pintails, that's that's a pretty good little bag. But three guys, two birds, not the greatest pile in the world, but it's Thanksgiving morning. We wanted to get out here and uh, just enjoy the morning. It's always tradition to get out here on Thanksgiving Day, and plus it was worth working storm, letting her retrieve some birds, so. Oh, well, back at the 
truck, taking these dadgum waders off. It's a lot warmer than it has been. Uh, just been uh, every day sunny and consistently getting warmer. Uh, today's Thursday, like I said, it's Thanksgiving, and um, I think we're supposed to have another cold front Sunday. I really wish that the cold front was moving in today with a fresh new uh, wad of birds, but that's not the case. I can tell you, warm weather like this, um, what happens a lot of times is, you know, it's been two weeks almost since we've had the big cold front where we had the first blizzard and snow and the first wad and push of birds. I can tell you when it's warm like this and sunny, bluebird sky days, this is what happens a lot of time. Don't expect too much when you're out waterfowl hunting, goose hunting, especially in the field. Uh, I would say your best bet is to get on the water like we did today or hit the public marshes. Uh, morning water hunts, that's where you're going to do a lot better on these warm-ups and on these bluebird sky days like this. A lot of birds are going to get stale. Uh, keep in mind, some of the first pushes of birds, uh, when birds are pushing south uh, on the migration, some of the first pushes are going to be primarily adults. So always keep that in mind is when you're hunting geese in the field is when it's early like this, you might have a bunch of birds in your area, but just remember a lot of them are probably going to be adult birds. And the more older they are, the harder they are to trick, especially when there's big groups. So I would recommend if you guys are looking to get out and hunt and you have these conditions, get out on the water for some morning duck hunting. Well, it's about three, four days later, and look at the snow we got on the ground. I'm sure a lot of you Midwesterns are dealing with the same thing. Oh man, we got an absolute pile of snow. Let me tell you, we just had an amazing hunt. Oh, check it out, we finally got into the white birds. You know, Bob, I love my snow goose hunting. We got into the adults. Like I'm always talking about, the adults are extremely hard to get into. So yeah, check that guy out there. Beautiful, just adult snow. Old birds, these two. I, I kept these two uh, huge. I mean, these are these are very, very big snows. Nothing real special about them. It's not like they're a crazy blue interface or a banded Ross or something like that, but I've always wanted a double mount, two extra large, adult, beautiful, all white snows. That's what I think I'm gonna do with these two birds. I'm gonna do a double mount and put them on the wall. Always give yourself a pat on the back when you can decoy adult snow geese. One of the hardest birds to uh, decoy. One of the hardest birds to kill, especially one of the hardest birds to trick at all. But that's why I think I'm gonna do a double mount and throw these bad boys on the wall. If you think I should, drop a comment down below and say, hey Bob, you should definitely do that. I hear ya. But guys, like I was saying, if you guys missed the Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday sales, this is your last chance to get 20% off the entire site, 20% off all white hoodies, 20% off the leather patch hat, and 20% off the thermal waiter sweats. Again, this is your last chance, Monday and Monday only. And today, receive free shipping on all orders over $75. But if you're interested in any of this stuff, I will link it all down below. Go check it out and go pick yourself up something before these sales are gone. But, like always, I really hope you guys are enjoying the videos and enjoying the content. I have had nothing but awesome positive comments from y'all lately down in the comments section below. And honestly, thank you. Thank you guys. Your positivity is what keeps me going. It keeps the engine turning. It keeps the fire burning. Giving you what you guys want to see and, tr and entertaining you in the waterfowl hunting world is what I love to do. So thank you all for being here. Welcome all the new subscribers. I see y'all. And if you like this video, drop your boy a big old thumbs up. But we'll see you on the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. <laughs> Oh boy.